Hello everybody! In this spreadsheet tutorial we're going to go over the substitute function. We will be using the numbers spreadsheet application for the Mac. However, for the most part, this should work pretty much the same in all spreadsheet applications such as Excel, Google Sheets, and LibreOffice Calc. Normally the main thing that you will see that will differ will be the argument names. Okay, let's go over a quick definition. The substitute function returns a string value where the specified characters of a given string have been replaced with a new string value. The substitute function takes four arguments, the source string, the existing string, the new string, and the occurrence. So let's jump right into our first example. Here we have a little pi text string that says circle circumference to diameter ratio pi. And what we want to do is to take this word pi and replace it with its number equivalent, 3.14. So let's go over to our results column. Let's hit equals and pull up the substitute function. So for the first argument, the source string, that's going to be here in this cell. For the existing string argument, we're going to use the word pi. The new string argument will be 3.14. So again, we want to replace this word, pi, with the number equivalent. And we don't need to use the occurrence. That is an optional argument that we don't need in this case. So you could delete it or just leave it blank. So let's go ahead and hit the check mark. And you can see that our original text string has been altered. And before, where we had pi, the word, now we have pi, the number. Okay, moving on to our second example. Here we have pi is pi, and what we want to do is replace this second pi with its number equivalent. And that's where this occurrence argument will come into play. Let's pull up the substitute function. For the source string, we'll put in pi is pi. The existing string, we'll put in pi. We want to replace that pi with the number equivalent pi. We put that in. And for the occurrence, we can see that there are two pi's and we want to replace the second one. So for that, we'll use two. Let's go ahead and hit the check mark. And you can see we have our altered string with pi is 3.14. Okay, for our third example, what we want to do is we want to replace this word at with the at symbol. Let's pull up our substitute function, put in our source string, our existing string, the new symbol. We don't need the occurrence. Let's hit the check mark, and you can see that this at is now replaced with the at symbol. Okay, let's go over one final example, and for this example, we're going to use the substitute function to help us clean up some data. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a Wikipedia article for GDP, and just imagine that you are going to copy this entire table. Now, in our example, we're just going to copy one part of it. However, if you were going to copy this entire table, this should work just the same. So for right now, let's just copy this text, Ireland. Now, let's go back to our spreadsheet. And if you just paste this normal, you're probably going to get something that you don't want. So what we want to do is to go up to Edit, and we want to do Paste and Match Style. Okay, so that looks fairly normal. However, if you click inside the cell, you're going to notice that we have a leading space here. And we don't want that space because in a little bit, we're going to try and do a VLOOKUP. And if we do the VLOOKUP and we have that leading space, it's not going to work. So actually, let's go ahead and show you an example of that right now. Let's go ahead and add a column here. And let's say that we want to do a VLOOKUP. And just imagine that you're doing this for a whole bunch of records instead of just one. And we want this number here to be placed into this cell. So let's go ahead and put in our VLOOKUP formula. We want to look for Ireland within this data set. Let's go ahead and lock everything. The return column would be this column, so that would be the second return column. So let's go ahead and just put a 2. And we want an exact match. Let's hit the check mark. And you can see we get an error. Now, currently, the reason for that error is, as we mentioned, this leading space. So we want to get rid of that. Now, normally, one of the first things you might try and do is a trim. So let's go ahead and try that. So we'll use the trim function, and we'll put in our source string and hit the check mark. Now, if we copy that, go up to Edit, and paste the formula results. Now, click inside the cell. You're going to notice that that leading space is still there. 
what's happening here is we're getting a non-breaking space and we're going to show you how to fix that. And this can be somewhat of a common occurrence when you're trying to clean up data, especially when you're copying and pasting from web sources, such as Wikipedia. And if you want to know more about non-breaking spaces, there is a Wikipedia article on it. So feel free to go ahead and check that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete this because we know that the trim currently does not work. So what we want to do to get rid of this leading space is go over to our result column. Let's go ahead and hit the equals. Let's pull up our substitute. Let's put in our source string, and then for the existing string, let's use the char function, and the code number that will help us get rid of this non-breaking space is 160. So let's put in 160. Now in our new string, let's just put two double quotes, and you want to put those right together with no spaces in this case. We don't need the occurrence, so let's go ahead and hit the check mark. Let's go ahead and copy this. Let's go up to edit, paste formula results. Let's click inside the cell and you can see that that leading space is gone. Okay, now let's go ahead and copy that and put it back here for our source string. And you can see that now our VLOOKUP works just fine. And one last trick that may help you in future data cleanup is to use that substitute function and then also wrap it in a clean and a trim function. So let's go over a quick example of that. Let's go ahead and hit equals. Let's use our trim and then let's use the clean and let's use our substitute. The source string is going to be here and what we'll need to do is go back to our Wikipedia article and copy and paste that so it has the non-breaking space. Then again for the existing string we'll use our char. Let's put in our code 160 and for the new string we're going to put in double quotes, space, double quotes. And you can put in that space because the trim should get rid of that. We don't need our occurrence. Let's go ahead and hit the check mark. Now we don't have exactly what we need yet because we need to put in the copy and paste from the Wikipedia article here. So let's go back. Let's copy this. Let's go ahead and go to edit, paste and match style. So once again, we have that non-breaking space problem with the leading space there. But now we fixed that with this formula. So you'll see that it's very similar to what we did before with just the substitute. However, when you wrap that in the clean and the trim, that can oftentimes help clean up other issues that you might have with your data. So let's go ahead and copy that, put it back here, paste the formula results, and you can see our leading space is gone. And our VLOOKUP worked just fine. That's all we have for this spreadsheet tutorial. We will be doing many more spreadsheet tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.